This is going to be a super quick one. Let me show you how to build a super nice looking half transparent shader in Octane for Blender. Hello and welcome here on Random Rotation. I hope you're all doing well. I'm a little bit in a hurry today, so let's just jump right in. And this is the shader that I want to show you how to create in a second. I think it looks super cool, which is enough of a reason for me to show you how to build it. The mesh I'm using in this example is not by me. I downloaded it from CG Trader. Link is in the description. It's a free model. Just create yourself an account there and then you can download whatever you like. Over here on the right, you can already see the note tree. But before I talk about that, let me first show you my HDRI that I use to light the scene. It is this 8K HDR image of Table Mountain. I've never been there, but I would love to. Let me quickly show you how it looks. Voila. And if you don't like the angle the light is coming from, then just add a full transform node into the transform input of your image and then you can play around with different angles. I of course already did that and I was pretty happy with my lighting so I just undo that, okay. Now I turn the alpha channel back on because as beautiful as it is, I don't want Table Mountain to appear in my final render. All I need is the lighting on my mesh. Now let me zoom in here so we can see a little better what we're working with and then back into the object workspace. And I think it's probably a good idea to explain this from right to left, so from finished to where it starts off. The very last node in my chain here is the material output node and you can see that I plucked this mix material into the surface input of the material output node. And the material output node mixes material slot 1 with slot 2 and with the amount input I control the distribution, whoops, sorry, via this marble texture. That's plugged into the amount. All right, that's that. Now let's take a look at the material inputs. We're starting with material one. This is just a simple specular material. And as you can see, I just used some RGB spectrum nodes to define the colors that I wanted to work with. Whoa, that's not so pretty. Reminds me of the blue man group. Um, on we go. This brown color is my base color. It's plugged into the transmission color input and then I duplicated the node, plugged it into the reflection and just brightened it up a touch. So that's it for material slot number one. Nothing too fancy here. And in slot number two I have this null material. That is, let me unplug it, taking care of the transparency. And because I want it to be transparent, I just plug it back in. Um, and that's basically it. The only thing left to show is my texture, the marble texture. Let me scroll over here. There we have it. These three notes handle the distribution of our material. The marble texture, like I said, the cylindrical projection node and a full transform node again. All I did was to play around with uh, the scale sliders here on the full transform node until I got something that I, I, I thought looked awesome. This is a little addictive, <laughs> to be honest. I could do stuff like this all day. But you don't need to watch me doing that. Okay, back to where I came from. This is my shader. It's not very complicated if you think about it. It's just a mix shader that's mixing this null material for the transparency with a specular material. 
at least in this case, but I could easily change it to, let's say, a diffuse material. Let's choose a different color so you can see it better and let me plug it in there. Boom. Works the same way. It's looking ugly, but it works. Let me delete it and plug my specular back in. That's looking good. If you've learned anything from this video, then hopefully it's that building materials in Octane is not rocket science. I have one more quick example here for you. This deer mesh, also from CG Trader, link is also in the description. This mesh also looks really cool with the shader. The only thing not really working is the cylindrical projection. Let me change that to a box projection. Here it is. Connect and connect and that's it. I love that. And now I'm at the point where I could start fiddling around with all these values for hours and hours, but trust me, you don't want to watch that. All right, people, that is it for this week. I really hope you liked this video. If so, <laughs> thanks a lot. I see you in the next one. And until then, stay safe, stay healthy. Bye for now.